job guys thank you please be seated good morning i'm alicia johnston president of fort scott community college and on behalf of the faculty staff and board of trustees it is my great pleasure to welcome you to fort scott community college's 100th commencement exercises at this time i'd like to introduce our stage party uh, beginning on my right we have Trustee Bill Meyer, Meyer, <laughs> Trustee Dave Elliott, Trustee Kirk Hart, Vice Chair Robert Nelson, Mr. Dick Hedges, Mr. Rick Mayhew, Tom Havron, Vice President of Students, and then on the back row, Santos Manrique, Dean of Crawford County Campus, Jeff Tatman, Chief Foundation Officer, Dr. Adam Borth, Vice President of Academics, Janet Fancher, Vice President of Student Services, and Julie Eichenberger, Vice President of Finance and Operations, as well, of course, as many of our, many of our distinguished Fort Scott Community College faculty are on stage as well. You know, the graduating class of 1921 had two graduates. It was Miss Ethlyn Hamlin and Miss Kathleen Leffler. Now today we have over 250 graduates. And of course, our graduates in those 100 years have done some amazing things and have gone on to live a very accomplished lives. Um, but in that 100 years, 
as you well know, a great deal has changed. Of course, change builds resilience. And I would have to say that in the past year, you have had to be resilient and creative and relevant. And I am very impressed with your ability to persevere and finish strong. In the time that you have spent here at Fort Scott Community College, I hope that you have gotten to know people from different areas and different cultures. I believe that one of the most important things about attending college is the opportunity to meet people and learn from people that don't look like you, that don't think like you, and have walked a different path than you. What I think that you will find, and what I'm sure you've already found, is that you have much more in common than you have differences. And it's the reason that I'm pleased that at Fort Scott Community College, we have been able to be in person, to be able to hold most of our classes face to face, and to participate in co-curricular activities. And this is due to the dedication of our great faculty, staff, and to you students. I encourage you to think for yourself, to give all people and ideas consideration and respect, not just those that are familiar and comfortable. As the late Stephen Hawking said, remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Try to make sense of what you see. Be curious. Congratulations. I'm very proud of each and every one of you and know that you always have a home at Fort Scott Community College. And now, Mrs. Deb Cummings will introduce the outstanding alumnus. Good morning. It is my honor to introduce this year's outstanding alumnus, Richard Mayhew. Richard was born here in Fort Scott and attended the local schools, went on to attend FSCC, PSU, uh, Pittsburgh State University, and then K-State, Kansas State University. At K-State, he completed his master's degree in financial planning. He's a chartered financial consultant, property casualty underwriter, life underwriter, and also a certified insurance counselor. He started his work career with the Western Insurance Companies of Fort Scott and was transferred then around the country to their uh, various offices and their other companies. He worked uh, as well as for other companies beyond uh, Western Insurance. He worked on site as a business consultant for a corporation in Paris, France, where they were adopting a new computer program and developed microcomputer software that he sold. He taught insurance and financial planning classes at Washington University. He is, a few of his volunteer activities include the Big Brother, Little Brother program and commissioner on the Fenton, Missouri uh, Planning and Zoning Board, where he resides with his wife, Shelly. Uh, Richard is co-executive director on the film Shadow Man, the Sammy, and I'm going to say this wrong, Tesco story. Uh, he published the book, Manage Your Money, like Warren Buffett, which was inspired by a lunch he and his wife had with Buffett in 2006. He also wrote several articles which were published in various business and insurance publications and published an online blog containing personal finance uh, information. He wrote and contributed a chapter of the book of permanent value, The Story of Warren Buffett by Andrew Kilpatrick on the Western Insurance Companies. This is where I really came into the picture. There are many people in Fort Scott uh, that know Richard Mayhew probably a lot better than I do, but Rick has contributed back to the college through my department here on campus. My students and I were given a once in a lifetime opportunity to visit with Warren Buffett of Berkshire Hathaway, as well as Warren's sister Susie through Rick's generosity in both 2006 and in 2017. We took a load of up to 20 students with us to go up 
uh, to meet with uh, Warren Buffett. He financed the trip for the students to attend a question and answer session with Warren Buffett in Omaha, along with uh, students from other well-known universities, including, and it, you know, we were Fort Scott Community College, but we were there with students from KU, MIT, Harvard, Duke, and even the London School of Business, just to name a few of the schools uh, that were involved. Is it, I would like to, at this time, thank Rick again for all his time, his generosity, his willingness to give back to our students. So now, could we welcome Richard Mayhew and uh, congratulate him on being chosen the FSCC Outstanding Alumnus. <laughs> I have two confessions to make today. First, I remember sitting where you are thinking, let's speed this up a little bit so we can go celebrate. With that thought in mind, my comments will be brief. My second confession is, I probably wasn't the best student who ever attended Fort Scott Community College. I owe a lot to my teachers who worked very hard to help me through what was a challenging period in my life. Later, I went on to get a master's degree. That, too, is a compliment to my teachers at FSCC, who gave me the springboard to go further with my education. In 2017, Deb Cummings, your business division chairperson, who I understand is retiring this year, so I want to, want to wish you the best in retirement. <laughs> Deb Cummings and my wife, Shelley, and I took a group of FSCC students to Omaha to attend one of Warren Buffett's student and question answer sessions. At various points in time, Buffett has been the richest man in the world. I don't think he was in 2017. I think he got knocked down a couple of notches by Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates. I might digress briefly and mention something I realized about teachers. Deb Cummings used some of her own personal time to make that trip to Omaha with her students. Many other teachers here at FSCC have used a lot of their personal time over the years to help their students. <clears throat> Belatedly, I want to thank my teachers, and there may come a day when you can contribute something above and beyond, and I hope you will. Back to Omaha, we were one of 10 schools that were invited to the question and answer session. Each school was allowed to ask a question in rotation. Warren called off the name of the school that was to ask the next question. Deb mentioned some of the schools, but I want to go back through all of the 10 schools that were invited that day. Warren called out Illinois, NYU Stern, Duke, Michigan, London Business School. I think London got the prize for the greatest distance traveled. Columbia Business School, MIT, Notre Dame, Harvard, Fort Scott. I remember the kids from Harvard who were sitting at the table next to us looking around going, where or what is Fort Scott? <laughs> that day is called a one-day MBA class by some who have attended. As I looked around the room that day, I thought Fort Scott fit in very nicely. The questions asked by the students from FSCC were on par with those asked by the other schools. It was an indication to me that you have received a fine education from Fort Scott. I know I did. There's one thing Buffett said that I'd like to pass on to you today. He said, how I got here is pretty simple in my case. It's not IQ, I'm sure you'll be glad to hear. The big thing is rationality. I always look at IQ and talent as representing the horsepower of the motor, but that the output, the efficiency with which that motor works depends on rationality. A lot of people start out with 400 horsepower motors, but only get 100 horsepower of output. It's way better to have a 200 horsepower motor and get it all into output. That might make more sense to you later on as you find that some of the average students around you did much better in life than you anticipated. One last thought. We didn't have any computers at FSCC when I graduated in 1973. 
the cost of storage space for one photo on your smartphone would have been around $8,000. If it costs you $8,000 per picture, I'm sure your time at FSCC wouldn't be as well documented as it is. There will be some kind of change like that in the next 50 years that will astonish you. Get ready to be astonished and do your part. Thank you for granting me the Alumnus of the Year Award for 2021. It's a great honor and one that I will truly cherish. And congratulations to the class of 2021. Thank you. And Vice Chair Robert Nelson will uh, present our honorary associate degree. Good morning. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that's better. Fort Scott Community College Board of Trustees awards an honorary associate degree to recognize extraordinary contributions that advance the mission and student success of Fort Scott Community College. The honorary associate degree will be conferred to one or two individuals per year at commencement ceremonies in May, this being the first day of May. Ask the right question, you get the right answer. Mr. Hodges, while serving as president of Fort Scott Community College, asked in a meeting with the Board of Trustees, what does Fort Scott Community College need? Someone said, a fine arts center. Correct. So we got busy formed committees, did a feasibility study of the community, visited other schools and colleges with fine arts centers, hired an architectural firm, and started fundraising. After viewing several drawings, a decision was made and a construction company was selected. That was 1999, my first year on the board, by the way. Ten years later, we, in April of 2009, we moved into this very building. Quite a job. Mr. Her Hedges served as Fort Scott Community College president three separate times. He wanted to make sure he got it right. His loyalty to this college cannot be questioned. When reflecting on his time at FSCC, his focus was always to take care of the people. He always encouraged leaders to get up out of their chair and go across the campus and take care of the people. Mr. Hedges is an avid supporter of his grandchildren and his family. He loves outdoors and makes trips to Canada. And I'm sure he can tell you some stories about those trips. So with that, the Fort Scott Community College Board of Trustees confer the honorary associate degree to Mr. Richard Hedges. Congratulations, sir.
<laughs> well, it took a while, but I got a specialist degree and down at Pittsburgh State, but they all decided I must have missed something here. And <laughs> so thank you, and I, I do appreciate the people I've met and the, and the good things that are... <laughs> I've got a grandson going down to Pittsburgh next year. He worked here for two years, so it's a good time. <laughs> I can tell you that uh, Dick was a hard act to follow for me. I'm telling you, <laughs> the man is a legend, and he has, as it was said, done so much uh, for the college and the community and uh, many, many individuals in that. And we are forever grateful to you and uh, to Rick as well, who has done so much uh, for us. It is now my great pleasure uh, to award our emeritus staff at Fort Scott Community College Board of Trustees, hereby establishes emeritus staff status to Harold Hicks in recognition and appreciation of his outstanding contributions to Fort Scott Community College. Harold, do you want to come up and stand by me so I read this? He, he'll, he'll let me know if I get it wrong. There you are. <laughs> He's a magician. <laughs> Whereas in special recognition of 28 years distinguished service at Fort Scott Community College, and whereas Mr. Hicks began as an educator at FSCC in 1993, after a distinguished and honorable career with the United States Navy and Naval Reserve, achieving the rank of Lieutenant Commander, where his wealth of experience and knowledge was influential in his outstanding ability to relate, instruct, and convey the writing skills students needed to be successful in their field of study. And whereas Mr. Hicks consistently demonstrated his passion for teaching and dedication to students as an instructor of language arts, English, and religion, and has ultimately served as an invaluable and influential mentor to administration and instructors by chairing the curriculum committee and leading the student affairs committee for many years. And whereas Mr. Hicks, direction and guidance as coach of the FSCC Quiz Bowl team, the team and individuals won numerous awards at state and regional levels. Also during his tenure, he served as Phi Theta Kappa Honorary Society Advisor, traveling extensively to state, regional, and international conferences, enhancing student opportunities to achieve their goals while building relationships. And whereas Mr. Hicks provided leadership as a program mentor for TRIO, focusing on guidance, support, and individual learning abilities, and who takes great joy in having instructed many young people who have gone on to benefit our society and reach their personal goals. And whereas Mr. Hicks earned his education for ministry certificate and serves as a dedicated and tireless pastor to his congregation, he is also an enthusiastic FSCCC alumni committee chairman and chaired the FSCC Centennial Celebration Committee. He is an ardent, selfless leader in all he does. And whereas Mr. Hicks is a devoted husband, unwavering Fort Scott Community College supporter, outstanding educator, and steadfast friend. And now therefore, be it resolved, the Board of Trustees of Fort Scott Community College that it approves appointment of Harold Hicks as Emeritus Faculty at Fort Scott Community College. Be it further resolved that this board herein extends its deepest appreciation to Harold Hicks for his dedication and service to Fort Scott Community College and to the people of this community.
Thank you very much. This is an honor. And I uh, just want to say that uh, I'm going to miss this place. I'm going to miss all the things that I've done here, but uh, mostly I'm going to miss the people. Um, I couldn't have done anything without the help of the faculty, staff, students, members of the community. There are, uh, I have good memories of everyone that helped me achieve anything that I've ever managed to accomplish out here at the college. And uh, I'll just, God bless you all. Thank you so kindly. I would definitely want to pass along my appreciation to Mr. Hicks, and we have two other instructors retiring, Mrs. Judy Nelson and Mr. Kim Coates, and we definitely are going to miss all of them. Mrs. Deb Cummings is gonna stay one more year. We've convinced her to do that. <laughs> all right, so congratulations to all of you graduates, and now is the interactive part of our ceremony. Will the candidates for certificates in construction trades, cosmetology, criminal justice, environmental water technology, farm and ranch management, Harley-Davidson motorcycle service technology, HVAC, manicuring, masonry, and welding, please stand and remain standing. Will the candidates for the Associate in Applied Science in Construction Trades, Cosmetology, Environmental Water Technology, Farm and Ranch Management, Harley-Davidson Motorcycle Service Technology, HVAC, John Deere Agricultural Technology, Nursing and Technical Studies, please stand and remain standing. This should be the rest of you. President Johnston, on the recommendation of the faculty, I present these candidates for the designated degrees. By the power vested in me by the state of Kansas and the Board of Trustees of Fort Scott Community College, I confer on you the designated degrees and certificates. Will the ushers please present the graduating class? Now we get to shake their hand, or I think we're going to do fist bumps or so. Maria Guadalupe Boganegra. Shelly Brooks. Veronica Michelle Bulk. Jameson L. Chapman, Jr. Claire Marie Clark. Leandra Cruz. Brandon Davis.
Adam Garbin. Melinda Gath. Enrique Jabara. Logan Hartman. Ethan Hassan. James Hatley Rommel. Gage Hightower. Michaela Elizabeth Hasselton. Diana Leva. Eli Andrew Lowe. Nicholas Joseph Malone. Bradley Clayton McCulloch. Rosario Del Pilar Mendez. Brady Oaks. Kristen Red. Jack Richard. Melissa Lynn Russell. Jennifer Renee Rust. Jody Rochelle Scars. Nicholas Sieber. Ryan B. Sigafus. Patterson Starcher. Dane J. Stifter. Brian Kenneth Studer. Jeffrey Dylan Schwartz. Ellie Rose Walgamot. Alec Nathaniel Otto Wommelsdorf. Shay Woods. Francisco Andres Villan Alvarez. Connor Shirelli. Chris Stinnenbaugh.
Graduates, please rise. You may now move your tassels to the left. I never remember that. And at this time, I present to you the 2021 graduating class of Fort Scott Community College. <laughs> 